Well, hi there. I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today I'm going to do a silly blue footed booby in watercolor. A blue footed booby is a bird. And it's this crazy looking bird from Impression Obsession. He was so hilarious. I had to buy him. And the sentiments in here are cute as well. So what I did was stamp my sentiments and my bird. The sentiments are kind of kitty wampus on there. I'm going to make some signs out of them. And my bird is leaning on one foot. You could make him lean on the other foot and he'd kind of lean completely the other way. If you turn your head sideways, you can see that. But I am painting with my Daniel Smith watercolors. These are my dot card colors, but I'm painting from my palette, not from the dot card itself. And his feet are actually a bluish teal color. They're really bright. And the color that I have is not a super bright teal. It's kind of hard to get that in watercolor, but it's really going to work. This card is hilarious and just makes me smile. I might not even send it to somebody else because I might need to just <laughs> hang it on my wall because it's so funny. So I'm giving him some lighting just from one side off to the left is where the shadows are on all this. And I realized I was going to make his white body shaded in blue, but as I started adding all this teal, even though I'm trying to add more contrast in his feet and on his beak, his body just was looking blue like the rest of him. So what I did was do a light wash of lunar black on top of it. And so I keep a little bit of that blue. It's not a dead gray that way, but it has a little bit more shading to it. For his wings, I decided to add a couple colors in there just because it's fun to watch colors melt together. So I used a dark blue as well as kind of a brownish color that I mixed up with some sepia and some quinacridone burnt orange and just let those colors kind of mush together in his wings. I added another layer of the lunar black just to give him a little more contrast as he's standing there. Got a little bit heavy there on one side, so I started moving the color around with my brush a little bit. Using my number eight silver brush, the uh, black velvet line. If you have not heard me mention them, you must not have watched any of my other watercolor videos. To make the signs, I'm just gonna paint a square kind of over each sign in a really light color. And this is to avoid having to draw them. <laughs> I'm not drawing squares. I'm just gonna watercolor them and I'll put my lines on afterward. A little bit easier to do it this way. So just painting them and they're gonna overlap each other. So I made sure I snugged them down tighter so I could make them look like they're overlapping. And if the color bleeds into each other here, I'm not really worried about it. You'll see how that works out in the long run, but I'm making squares where the horizontal goes along the baseline of the horizontal of each sentiment and then they the the verticals kind of make it into roughly squares this is really going to be loose and silly so it doesn't have to be perfect but i got my signs there while they're drying i thought i'd add some ground for him to stand on with some lunar black just filling that in and I was debating whether or not he was going to stand on a road. It was, I was thinking at first that I'd make him standing on a, a road like he's hitchhiking. He's got all these signs beside him. Changed my mind about that eventually. But at least I've got a little bit of color establishing my horizon line there. And I wanted to make sure that my signage was good and dry before I started moving on to the next step, which was to take a waterproof pen, which is a Sharpie, or there's, you can use a bun other, bunch of other pens, like the Micron pens, they're waterproof. And I'm just going to draw kind of rough lines around each one of these to make the signs. And if I do rough lines, I can kind of make them look like they're wood, so they're not necessarily, they don't have to be perfect, they don't have to be straight. It gives you a lot of freedom to just kind of goof around and doodle. And I'm going to carry the, the post that they're on. I'm going to make a big fat post. And I'm going to carry that down to the bottom. Give the horizon line a little bit of a line. And then I was thinking maybe I'd add a little bit of like some nails to hold the signs on. And some extra boards, kind of some horizontal lines to make them definitely look like wood. And then start painting the signpost. And I realized I had forgotten to put my texture in there. I could certainly do that with some watercolor, or I could even do that after I finished the watercolor, but I figured I had the pen out. I'd just go ahead and do this. 
and then throw some color in here. Now while I'm finishing up the painting of this, I'm going to make the, the ground underneath of them next look like wood as well. And while I'm finishing that, let me tell you what the plan is for July. It's going to be World Watercolor Month. World Watercolor Month is celebrated around the world and I'm going to be joining in, of course, and having lots of fun. There are two new watercolor classes on art-classes.com, which is my website for um, all my different classes that I teach. So I've moved them from my blog over there. And if you haven't checked it out yet, you're welcome to go do that. But these classes are gonna launch on July 1st, which if you're watching this on June 30th when it launches, then July 1st is the day that everything's gonna be, gonna be live. So join me over on the website. There's gonna be a coupon code and it will be posted um, hopefully across the website, if, if you don't find it across the website, because I'm trying to figure out how to make it a banner across the top. If that doesn't happen, then check the blog for the coupon code, because everything's going to be on sale during the month of July. So you'll want to know what that coupon code is. And if you're getting this, watching this video afterward, then you can go get the classes any old time. So I added some shading underneath of each of the signs so they look like they're layered on top of each other and drew my boards. So now he's on a pier instead of hitchhiking on a road. But I thought it came out really funny. Just a hilarious little booby. And I think there's just something in the, the, my little inner child likes to even say the word. Anyway, I will see you guys later. If you'd like to get some more information on the website, it's down there in the right hand corner so you can check out uh, more classes over there on watercolor and Copic and other things. Other videos, you can click on my face to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.